Today, everybody remembers musicians like Beethoven and Tchaikovsky and Debussy, but have you ever really stopped to think about why people remember them? Hello everybody, welcome to Josh Delaria's Musical Escapades. My name is Josh Delaria, I'm your host, and what if I told you that in about 50 years, nobody's going to remember who Britney Spears was, who Lil Wayne was, or who Justin Bieber was? <gasps> How dare you say that about Justin Bieber, Josh? How can you say that nobody's gonna remember him? He's so hot! Well, let me clue you guys in on a secret. That is that many of the musicians we do remember today weren't all that popular back in their day. Which leads me to believe that there were probably other musicians back in their times that were probably popular. But we don't know about them. Because we don't remember them. I can think of one, maybe two exceptions through the entire history of music. Uh, the one for sure would be Handel, George Frederick Handel, uh, the one who wrote The Messiah. Um, he was very popular back in his day and age, um, and we still remember him pretty well. The other one I would think is maybe Mozart, too. Uh, he was a little bit more uh, up and up with all the princes and royal people and kings and those types of people, but um, I don't know how much of the commoners would have known him back in his day and age. So he's kind of a maybe. And I think the jury's still out on the Beatles, too. Uh, they might also become well-remembered throughout history. Um, I think we should wait another 50 to 100 years to start saying that. Um, but they could go down as a third. See, the reason why I bring a lot of this stuff up is because I know that a lot of you guys who are watching are just tired of what's being played on the radio right now. And you guys are looking for something more. And I also know that some of you guys are musicians yourselves, and maybe you want to get famous, yeah. But I think a lot of you guys who are watching this are probably more thinking along the lines of how can I just build my audience and just connect with my fans and ha let them have a good experience. And, you know, I want to bridge these two audiences, you know, you guys who are looking for some great music with some awesome musicians that you might not have heard of before, um, because it'll work out in both of your favor. You guys will find something that's really just completely alternative from the radio. and these musicians will have another way of reaching out and connecting with you guys. See, I don't think many of the musicians that we remember now were really trying to get famous. I think they were just trying to make the best music they could. And what came out of that ended up making them famous. See, one of the things that I think a lot of these musicians, a lot of the famous musicians did throughout the centuries was that they took a lot of the elements that were already present in their day, and they pulled the best out of them and fused all of them into their own music, into their own original music, with their kind of spin on it. So I think that's a pretty good semblance of what I think y'all should do if you really want to be remembered throughout history. So if I had to give you advice, it would be exactly that. That you should just try not, don't think about getting famous, and just try to pull out, pull out the best elements of what already exists right now in this day and age, and put all that in your music. To me, that's what a lot of people who have made the top 20 multiple times have done, and they've done that most consistently as well. So use those as some bearings, but again, just remember, put your own spin on it so that it doesn't sound exactly like somebody else. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you guys want any more tips or any more help, any criticism of your music, anything like that, um, let me know. Uh, send me an email down here at joshdelariesmusicalescapades at gmail.com um, or you can post anything you want on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash joshdesmusicalescapades, um, whatever's fine. Uh, or in the comments too, doesn't really matter. I'd love to hear from you, I'd love to hear what you think about this. Because uh, you never know, I may be wrong. I'm not always right, but maybe you have a little bit more expertise or opinion uh, that you'd love to share. So please do. And as always, if you or anybody that you know has some awesome music that you want shared, please send me an email or a Facebook message or a comment below, and I will listen to it. And you never know, it could wind up right here on the show. By the way, guys, I almost forgot. Um, I'm actually not going to be around a computer to upload next Saturday. I know I normally upload on Saturdays. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do a different day. But normally I do Saturdays. I just want to let you guys know I'm going to a workshop next Saturday. Uh, so I will be away from my computer all day and probably won't be able to upload anything, but probably next Sunday I'll come out with a new video. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Thank you all again for watching and until next time, go make great music.